Hey, Steve Zook here. Welcome back to Pokesu Channel and the Control Letter System. Hey, somebody recently sent me an email just saying, you know, give me all of the advice possible on how to be a better guitar player, irregardless if you're advanced and been playing for 25 years but feel like you're kind of stuck or you're intermediate or beginning or whatever. Um, so I'm going to kind of tailor this video to that, okay? I'll tell you, one of the most, and, and I'm not going to hold back on this, so this is just how I feel about it from years of experience. I've been playing since I was eight, I'm 63. I'm just going to throw this out there, and, and uh, anyway, so there's several things, some of them which may surprise you. I'll start with the ones that won't surprise you probably. One of the best things you can do, and Segovia, and Andre Segovia used to talk about this, is scales. Folks, if, if, I don't care how old you are, I get emails from people telling me all oh, my fingers just don't work very good, I have trouble going from chord to chord, etc. You need to develop elasticity in your left hand um, in order to do that, and there's no easy way to get that. You need to do scales, even just an hour a day. When I was a young man, I used to do five, six hours a day of scales. You don't need to do that. If you have the time, do it. <laughs> it's going to pay off later. But you know, if even if even if you're in your 40s or 50s or 60s, whatever whatever age you are, an hour a day or more of scales can really help you out. Now you may not have to do this forever, but in order to get some elasticity, and and they don't you don't even have to worry about what kind of stuff. It can be very simple stuff. Let me move in a little bit. Simple things like pseudo chromatics, like this. Okay, you know you can you can use pentatonic. The main thing is don't play faster than you can play clean. If you're just playing like this, that's fine. But it's, you know, using all your fingers is really good because it's going to kind of get them used to that. Folks, your, your brain has over a hundred billion cells and the and you know hundreds and hundreds of millions of circuits. You can kind of recalibrate and, and rewire your brain to do to do things, but you need to kind of you know, download a new software or upload a new software, however you want to call it. So simple things like this, just simple mindless exercises like this. I mean, I sit around for hours a day, at least two hours a day, and just do simple things like this or double triplets with the accent, right? Or I'll vary it like... Um, you know, and th what's really cool is just do that. Th there's a certain price you have to pay for elasticity. And there's some other things too that you might not guess, but I'm just going to lay them out. Um, I might have a glass of wine every two or three months, but I pretty much don't drink. Drinking is really not good for your guitar playing. You know, if, if you're one of these guys or girls, every night you have three, four, you know, drinks or more or whatever. Uh, it's an anti-inflammatory. It lowers your energy level too. It lowers your spiritual energy. It lowers your psychic energy. It's not good for your guitar playing. So if you're drinking a lot or even or every night, I can always watch a video and tell if somebody has a few drinks every night because there's kind of a bleh, kind of a slow down energy, a lack of agility. If you really want to, even if you're in your 50s or 60s, you want to be a better guitar player, quit drinking. And I'm not, I'm not here to give anybody a lecture. I'm just, I'm just honestly telling you what could really help. Okay. So quit drinking, you know, if you can, if you uh, can just have a drink every couple months or whatever, but it really slows down your guitar playing and your ability to learn and, and the way that your neurons fire and everything really slows you down. So uh, the other thing is when you do your scales, try to make them interesting. You know, like, like I said, do some of the mindless stuff like this just to kind of get the agility. Right. But, you know, play it and also do some muting because when you mute, makes your right hand work a little harder and do alternate picking so now you're developing your right hand and your left hand right and folks you got to fall in love with repetition repetition is the mother of mastery so I mean I sit around every night and you know or I'll try to make up a little you know make up little sequence scales you're not sure what to do don't worry about it you know you can do like like you know come down one two three four five six hear the accent when you start seeing results from doing slow and clean single notes you get really excited about playing right now I'm building more technique
Every time you play slow and clean, you're building technique. What's, what's tricky about it is you don't recognize that you are. But you're, ner- you're, you're kind of inputting this into your nervous system and your subconscious mind. You're developing new neural pathways. It's a little bit of work, but man, the payoff is huge. You'll be sitting around one day and just start playing like you never even knew that you could. But you can't be results oriented, you know, and don't worry about outcome. Just do the work and stay in the here and now. Another thing, if you want to be a better guitar player, is meditate. I do TM, Transcendental Meditation. I've been doing it for 36 years. It's a big graph. There's a lot of things I could talk about with with that related to quantum physics and getting in touch with your uh, other dimensions with them. But let's, for now, (laughs) let's just focus on guitar playing. It will make you a better guitar player. It will help you to tune into your creative side. It will help you to open up to creative ideas coming through you, which is another reason why the guitar ladder is another extremely important component of this. I'm not just saying it just to say it and sell one. I've sold over 7,500 courses. I don't have any trouble selling them, but it's really true, folks. You can't you can't make a lot of progress on guitar with average material or what I would call outdated approach to learning guitar because most stuff is very left brain. It's in a box. Play this with this. Do this with with this. You don't need that. You need something which is uh, going to seed your subconscious mind, which is what the guitar ladder system does with over 240 studies. Plus, you get the secret uh, Horace Hatchet files. Put in code SC. 109777 in the comment box when you order the guitar letter system for only 199 price is going up i'd suggest you order soon sample send me an email pokesu at gmail.com but you should, you should just jump jump on it it's, it's it's a steal for the money i hate to put it that way but it's true so those are things that will make you a better guitar player but i get a lot of people emailing me saying well because i'll show i'll show like cycle i'll do here i'll do a little bit of cycle one i'll show cycle one And uh, on some of my, no, I'm not warmed up at all, but on some of my videos, I'm kind of going through it a little faster, you know, and people stop and say, whoa, there's no way I can do that. Another thing, stop comparing yourself to anybody. I don't care if it's me or your friend that has more natural talent. Stop comparing yourself to other people. Get in touch with the joy of playing guitar on your own terms, learning on your own terms, and getting on a path that's going to help you evolve and get better and begin to open up your musical ear to, to your own musical ideas lying deep within your, your subconscious mind, and that's what the guitar ladder system will do. The guitar ladder system is what you're looking for in a very innovative guitar uh, instruction system that's gonna, gonna help you learn the language of music, learn the colors of music, learn the vocabulary of how to create different color and tension and resolution in, in many different styles. Um, it's very, very simple to do. There's no note reading, there's no theory to give you a, a headache. But the, the results are very, very powerful. So, you know, if you, I would, a lot of people I've talked to on the phone, I'll just say, you know, make this the last one ninety nine you've ever spent on any guitar instruction system because you won't need anything beyond this. And price is going up soon. So if you just really, you know, if you're making a New Year's resolution to really get better on guitar, you're willing to pay a little bit of a price for it and have a good attitude and be positive and trust me, trust my system and not fight me or fight the system or fight yourself. Just do the work. Stay a little humble, be positive, don't focus on results and outcome. This is according to the science of neuroplasticity and the way you learn. The guitar ladder system not only is extremely innovative, but it, it cooperates with the new way of learning. It's really powerful, folks. It's, it's like, you know, seeding your subconscious mind. And people email me all the time saying they just discovered some idea that they had no idea where it came from because they're, they're, they're growing and, and waking, they're, they're waking up their musical mind and getting their musical tool chest together. So anyway, so one more time, today's tips. Simple, you gotta, you gotta get the elasticity going in your left hand. So simple things like this. You can go the other way. You wanna get even more out of it? Alternate your picking. See, alternate your picking. You want to get even more out of it? Place an accent and, and, and mute to, to create more tension and get your blood vessels flowing in your right hand because you got to develop your right hand and left hand. Most people are very weak on the right hand. Lately, I've been practicing again two or three hours a day because I might be hosting a TV show about guitars. It's kind of in the works. We'll see. If it happens, I'm probably going to be interviewing and jamming with people like Al Dimiola, so I'm trying to kick my technique up another notch, so we'll see. may happen, may not. I'm going to stay positive either way, but if it does, I want to be ready. <laughs> I'm not kidding, by the way. Anyway, so place those accents, bam. And placing accents really, you know. And 
Another thing you can do is like five. This is really good for your right hand. I'm just using a G major scale, right? I know I didn't start on G. You can call it a mode if you want. It just confuses people as you know. It's still, it's just the half steps and full steps are in different spots. It's still a G major, G major scale, G major, you know, color, right? But you can do that five and come down to the next note of the scale, next note of the scale. You want to make your single note of exercises interesting. Once I was up in the mountains, I go to the mountains every three months and rent my favorite cabin. And I, and I always do some scales up there. And I was playing one day and one of my neighbors actually heard me and, and uh, he actually books musicians for clubs and stuff. And he said, man, you even make your scales interesting. And I thought, oh, that's an interesting observation for somebody who doesn't play. So you always want to make your, 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 your stuff interesting. You know? So anyway, um, so simple things like this, you, you know, mind, you, you can watch a football game or basketball game or whatever you like, hockey, whatever you like, soccer, and do things like this, then mute, then accent, bam, bam, okay? But I think a lot of people don't understand. They wonder, well, how come I can't switch chords a little quicker, you know? Uh, could be because you're drinking too much and it's slowing down your agility. It's an anti-inflammatory and it robs your body of liquid. And it, and it slows down your energy and it just makes you less coordinated. So if you really want to be the best guitar player you can be, quit drinking. Another thing, meditate. I do transcendental meditation. You can find other forms of meditation on the internet. What else? Oh, eat healthy. Don't eat a bunch of crap all the time. Don't eat a bunch of sugar. You know, you don't have to give up meat and be a vegan. But, you know, like what I do, I, I have a, a vegetarian lunch many, many days during the week. Once in a while I'll have a steak taco, but I don't eat too much meat. I don't eat bacon, drink a lot of water. Uh, what else? Yeah, I said meditate, um, you know, exercise too. And uh, so these are just things that, and the guitar ladder system, if you really want to take a quantum leap, you need to expose your musical mind to, uh, to tension and resolution and how to, you know, create color. You have to kind of, you know, upload enough so that then your brain can assimilate and you go get the shading in there. And man, your brain will just eat this up. And like I said, I get I get emails every day from people who uh, said that you know they've been doing the guitar guitar ladder system for a while. Now they're beginning to hear their own original ideas and finding them. Sure, it takes a little bit of time, but you know what? It's work. It's really worth it too. There's no better natural high. So so if you're at that stage where you know maybe you're an intermediate level player, but you feel like you haven't grown for a long time, or you're an advanced player, but you're having trouble composing and improvising, you know, and you really want to, you really want to take some serious forward movement and discover your own musical ideas. These are really valid things for you to do. For samples of the guitar ladder system, send me an email, pokesu at gmail.com. I'm just having fun. I'm not very warmed up right now. But anyway, so those are the suggestions. If you really want to be a better guitar player and you take it seriously and you want to see how good you can get and how much you can write and compose and improvise, it really feels good, folks. It's worth it. Believe me. Quit drinking. Uh, if you want to smoke a little bit, it's great, but don't smoke all day, you know, once in a while at night, maybe. And I'm not advocating that, by the way. Um, but I'm just saying, you know, that's actually healthier than, than drinking and drink because drinking just dries you out and it, and it slows down your reflexes. And there's people in their 60s now, like Al Dimiello, that are still really ripping on guitar and single notes. And I'm not going to mention any names, but there's also some players that, that can't play fast anymore because they drank too much. I'm not going to mention who, but anywho, it happens, man. So, uh, you know, if you want to be in your 60s and still playing a million miles an hour and still developing technique, and again, it's not about playing fast. It's about executing your idea and being fluid and being creative and having the technique to, to do that, okay?
but also you have to develop your ear training so that you can begin to hear musical ideas and begin to hear your own musical ideas. And that's where the guitar ladder system comes in and is so important. And uh, the, guitar, uh, the guitar ladder system is not a jazz guitar course, but if you love jazz, you're going you're gonna to be able to play at a very high level because uh, you're going to learn all the altered chords and how to put them together and how to be very creative with them. And if you're into chord melody, the guitar ladder system is a must-have. I used to do a lot of trade shows years ago, and, and players used to always come up to me at trade shows, and, and most, a lot of them were really, really good, too. But they said, Steve, I, re I really enjoy your playing, and I feel like I'm very predictable and a little boring when I play my chord melody and stuff. And, of course, I didn't want to agree with them, but I was like, well, it's good that you realize that you still need to grow. And I try to give them some helpful tips and things to do to make their guitar, their guitar playing and com uh, you know, arranging a little more interesting. But a lot of my guitar ladder customers say that once they get into the guitar ladder system, they, they can, they almost just run into a standard, literally. They'll be playing and just run into a standard. It's so easy to find it. Sometimes they have to go grab the chart and double check a couple chords or whatever. But it really works, folks. If, folks, if, you're into, if you're into chord melody, the guitar ladder system is a must buy. And the guitar ladder system is mostly for advanced and intermediate level players, unless like some of my customers are really, really brave and just willing to jump in as a beginner and, and not worry about it because I'm going to give you an eight-year membership anyway. You can get this done in a year or two, but anyway. So those are the tips for today, and uh, I hope I hope you'll uh, you know take them to heart because this is from uh, a lot of experience. I've been, t I've been playing since I was seven or eight. I'm 63. Uh, I, I wrote uh, Modern Chord Cycles for the Guitar that was reviewed by Guitar Player Magazine, distributed by Carl Fisher, uh, created the Guitar Letter System. My CD, Transporters, reviewed at Vintage Guitar Magazine. Just go to vintageguitar.com, put in Steve Zook, read the review by the great writer, guitar collector, really smart guy, recording engineer, Stephen Stone, who's bought three or four guitars for me. And I know what I'm doing, folks. So if you really love music, you really love guitar, my suggestion is invest the $199. Invest the $199 in the guitar letter system before it goes up, because it's going up soon. So put in the comment box code SZ109. 777 or if you don't see the comment box just email me pokesu at gmail.com um, it really works it really works but th those are those are tools that um, greatly greatly augment augment right well I'm really cold so it's hard anyway um, Anyway, th those are tricks, and tr I shouldn't say tricks. Those are tools you can use to really get as good as you as you can this life. And more important than just getting, you know, uh, taking music as far as you can take it is, like I said, discovering that music floating around deep in your subconscious mind that wants to come out, but it just needs a tool. It needs it needs you know a, a pathway. It needs new new neural pathways, and so you kind of recalibrate, we re rewire your nervous system and you give your subconscious mind, you seed the subconscious mind with my chordal studies and man, you, you, your subconscious mind is going to soak it up like a sponge and the results are huge so it really works folks. All right, appreciate it. Let's all be positive for the new year. Um, remember, you know, the power of positive faith. You don't have to have a religious belief to, to use the laws of the universe. Positive faith is very powerful. Suspend your disbelief. Just because you don't see it doesn't mean it does not exist. Remind yourself you're a spiritual being, having a human experience, and as a spiritual being, you have unlimited power if it's authentic power and comes from the higher self. All right, folks. Cheers. Keep the faith. Thank you very much.